Steve here, Off-Road Grind, and we are gonna be replacing the valve cover gaskets on this bad boy, the V6 2007 4Runner. Stay tuned, we'll see how this goes. <laughs> that I'm getting a little seepage out of the valve cover gaskets on both sides and you can see it over here as well quite a bit and when we crank this puppy up it starts warming up you can smell that oil pretty quickly and that's a little newer on that side it was doing it on this side for a while and you can see how it's uh all oiled all down the front here. So we're gonna get that changed today. And I also have the little grommet um, gaskets too for the bolts. Cause I understand that that's quite often the thing that um, messes up and causes issues with keeping that valve cover gasket tight on the engine. So we got the valve cover, gasket we got the grommet gaskets and then we've also got the spark plug rings as well so I understand there's a lot of stuff to take off here so it's not going to be a super quick job I don't like to rush through stuff like this because I'm not I don't do it for a living but I do sort of enjoy doing it usually at the beginning I enjoy doing it and at the end when it's done it's kind of that middle part that I start getting all annoyed Anyways, let's uh, get through this and see how it goes. Okay, we have a lot of stuff to get off here, so let's get at this. Take this cover off, and we're gonna have to take all the airbox stuff off over there so I can get over to that side. I'm gonna do the driver's side first because it looks like it's way more complicated in terms of bolts and hoses and garbage that's gonna be in my way even after this comes off. So let's get these things off and then we will get better access to that gasket cover. So we've got a couple brackets here, one on the front. I took the bolt off down on the bottom. It looks like it's holding it on right underneath. The, I've undone the pipe clamp here for the air, air hose. And I'm just trying to, my second battery is right in here. Do not want to have to take that out. That would suck. So, get this out of the way. Without wrecking anything. There we go. Yep. So these the metal brackets, the three, one on the front, two on the side there, they were 12 mil. This is a 10. So I was messing around in this area anyways. Let's undo that. Here or there. Seems to be coming up. Oh, there we go. I can see that better. It's a little line back there. You can see it's attached to the back of this air intake. It's not coming off too easy. There we go, okay. So if I remember to put that back on. So that should all just pop out of the way. So we got another got a hose clamp here. Let's pull that back. And then uh, on you. And you can see all the oil we've got on here and all down the side. So I am pretty sure this gasket's pooched. So let me get some pair of um, pliers, pull this off. 
Actually, I'm going to leave that for now. I'll get to that when I get to the other, that side. Stay focused. Stay on this side. So this is going to have to come off. Let me take a photo of this deal. I think it's taking a picture. I can come back and look at the video later. Okay. So that's off. Oh, here's another one. That's why that's not budging at all. What did I undo before? Oh no, it was the one on the bottom. Let me just take this out of it. Get it out of the way. Oh, I see. Okay. I've taken this thing off before. There's some bolts down here holding this guy on that I gotta undo. Yeah those hex bolts are eight. They're holding this sign on or this I don't know what this air intake Manifold, is that what that would be called? I don't know. Okay, and there's the bolt for that. There's another one right here. Yeah, it's this stupid thing here. There's a little 10 millimeter bolt in this bracket here. I couldn't get these clips off to get that hose off. Or this one here, and they were holding it all down. So I just it came out of here. So I just pulled that off and then lift, this lifted up. This wire was kind of in the way as well over top of this bracket. So pop that out of the way, pulled that back. Push this one here, this big coiled wire off that platform, and then with that off, this is now coming out, so that's good. Let me get around to the other side and I'll show you what I'm doing. So we've got all these hoses, and I'm going to try not to take too many off, but I'm going to have to obviously take some. So that's going to go in there. Okay, it's still stuck on that little front post. There we go. Okay. So I think if I can get, let me put a cloth on that. There. Actually, the cardboard from the valve cover gasket can't work. Let's clean that up later. That looks gross. Okay. Make sure I don't drop anything in there. Because I would totally do that. Get in there. Don't strip. Arr. Anyways. 
checking in with that on. holding hoses on. I think that's most of the junk holding that sucker on. I don't think there's any other bolts. Oh, one underneath this bracket down here, I think. Yep. Looks like a, a nut. Oh, there's another one on that bracket. Yep, they're hidden under behind these brackets there. I think that's it. Oh, another one down here, maybe. Yeah, it feels like a like a threaded bolt coming up, and then some nuts on top of it. This one's got a down in here. Let me show you down in the bottom here. So you got a bolt down there, and then a threaded down here and then one in behind this guy here so I'm gonna have to loosen that off Typically prefer to get the harder side done first. Well, if I undo that bracket, yeah, that'll work. Because that other wire, okay, let me try that. So what I'm looking at here is this little, there's a little clip here. And this wire comes down to there and then goes underneath. And if I undo that, then I can lift this up higher and clear it. I think it will work. Okay, cool. So, I have to hold this back somehow. Okay. I'm sure there's a way easier way to do this than this. But however, this is working, I think. So I just took some wire, hung it off the hood strut there, and wired it onto here to get that sucker out of the way because it was pressing down on things for me. And now, Got some of these vacuum hoses or whatever the heck they are catching it. I think that's all that's holding it back. And just wiggle this over the top of this place. Try not to get too much crap in there. Goodness gracious. Try not to get any crap in there. 
Oh, you know what? I should have probably cleaned this thing before I tried to do all this garbage. Okay. So there's our gasket. With our um, spark plug rings. And I think, I'm guessing that piece there just fell off as I was jacking with this trying to get it out. I'm gonna get a Q-tip and try and pull out some of the grit that fell in there. I don't think it's super critical, however. Probably what I should have done is washed the surface of the engine a day or so ago to get all the crud off it. And then... Oh, that is so hard. Goodness. That's like not rubbery at all. I am sure that's why. And so, let me go get a Q-tip, clean up that engine, and then we'll pull this apart. But I'm pretty sure that's just as hard and brittle. Okay, I think I dropped a little bit of crud in here. Not too much. There was some on the cover. And like stuff like that. Get out of there. So let's turn our attention to the valve cover because that looks like it's pretty clean. Because these things are super hard and brittle. Check this out. I am pretty sure that's not good. down the Okay, I can't find hardly any videos or information on this. All I could find was um, one for a Tacoma, 06 Tacoma, 4.0 liter, same engine as this. And it looked the same as he was going through it. And he did say, put some of the sealant on these little lines here. And he did a little bit of a clean with some brake cleaner. I got some carb cleaner here just to clean this off, make it nice surface so it makes sense so I'm going to do that and then the torque spec for putting it back together again he said it was 84 foot pounds for the or inch pounds sorry 84 inch pounds not foot pounds for the bolts and screws that are going around the outside and then 80 inch pounds for the three bolt holes here in the middle next to the spark plugs and he did say, as he was doing that, the gasket was starting to squeeze out, so he was thinking it was too much, so I backed it off a bit. So, um, we'll see what happens when I get to that point. Anyways, um, but other than that, nothing else to do, so I'm going to put some of that sealant. I actually have some Toyota sealant, and this is a 
self-packing 103 FIA PG is like 20 bucks from Toyota and I'm going to use this to put it on the the spots here and I know I use this a lot more on the 08 or sorry the 03 V8 so we'll uh, bring it back into play then so let me put a little bit of cleaner on the edge of this cover and then we'll put that dry and then put the gasket into place and then get some of that if I could on those little lines here it does set so I don't want to put it on and then um, let it set for too long although I think did I need to let it set for a little bit let me check the V8 thing I think there might need to sit for a minute and then you push it on let me check okay I think we're coming along here so I have read that little FIPG instructions and it said just put it on use it within 15 minutes of applying it so I'm gonna put it on there smush it into that little groove so I've just got just this little area here it doesn't say anything about putting anything in around the gaskets so I'm just going to pop it in here for now and then I've got the gasket in place I already tucked that in it seemed like it was a little too big at first so I just started to just wiggle it around and kind of stretch it into place or squish it into place I guess and then it seemed to to do the trick so let's try and slide these back into place so I tried to clean my hands so they weren't grimy Covers on the table in there. Very brutal looking. All right, I got these little. Where are they? There we go. The little bolts that this needs to drop down onto. Where there was one at the front here by this bracket, and then there's one on the back. So right there and there. Okay, so that feels like it's set. Now, there's all these grommets that it came with. And I talked about these being very important on the V8, but it didn't have any mention of them on the other one. So I think it's these little guys here that protect the impressions. One, two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, and 11, 12. Okay, so I've got 12 points here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So I think I've got enough for all of these um, bolts that are going to go in here and nuts. So I'm going to put them on each one. And that's not going to work yet because that's too high. Interesting. Okay, let's try it with these ones. I don't even know which way it's supposed to go. Let's try it that way. Okay, 84 inch pounds. 
little quarter inch deal here. Just want to do a bit of a star pattern. Start up here. Yeah, these gaskets are gonna, these little grommet guys are gonna work. enough yet but let's tighten some of these other guys Let's see, so I got those all in. This has got to go back in here. Get that guy in. Okay. And you are there. Of course, you can put that guy, the bolt back in. This thread figured out before. on these hoses okay so we're all set down here we got this clip back in put that little button in these are back in place ish and then we got all the bolts in clip hose back in here this one I went in place so here's what I'm looking at right here it's just this little guy here bracket and I got the socket on it and just trying to get it back into oh. I think that's doing it yeah okay sweet let me get this tightened it's really hard to do this holding the phone no be back those brackets in. That's over here. Then we're done one side. I'll go over how long it's taken to do this. I'll recap things. Okay, we're back. It's time the passenger side. So it looks like we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven bolts on this side and two nuts, one down here and one in the back left corner there, or back right if you're looking forward. So we're going to take those out, pop off these coil uh, bolts, and then these three bolts down in the center. and. We'll get this off. I popped this clip off already, cut this little 
this little uh, zip tie that was on one of these wires. So those are all ready to go. I think, oh, and I got this, there's a bolt down here too on this bracket I gotta undo. Other than that, I think this is gonna be way, well, it is gonna be way easier than the other side. It took me three hours to do that side. And I swear two of it was getting that darn stuff all out of the way so I could get to the actual valve cover gas. And I don't rush when I'm going through this stuff. So you're going to be able to do it way quicker than me if you're keen on that. But anyways, let's get at this, uh, taking these bolts off. Gotta come up over those two bolts that the nuts fit onto. And much cleaner than the other side, so that's good. And then there's the still crispy. And so let's clean all that up in a second. cover itself same amount of crud around it it's kind of oily dirt so let's scrape all that off clean it up it's just like the other side so you don't need to see all that yeah I'll get rid of all the dirt then I'll wipe it down with some carb cleaner and then come back and we can hit with some of the FIPG on these two little seals here and then pop that gasket in and put it all back together. This side's way faster than the other side so let me do all that cleaning like I did on the other side and I'll be back in a bit. So we got the gasket here and pretty easy how it goes on. The thin side goes down so we're just going to put it on here. I don't think I showed you that on the other side but let's play this in. It seems like it was a little long, but probably because I stretched it a bit when I was putting it in. So what I did instead um, is I went back in and kind of pushed it in, like pushed back on itself. So I'm pushing that way as I'm putting it in. And then, so I've cleaned these grooves out, make sure there's no crud in there. And just set that in there nicely. Fit pretty good. Go in there, obviously. So it seems like it's a little long. It was way bigger on the other one. And then I just sort of reset it. There we go. I thought it was the wrong size initially, but that's good. Okay, and so then these just pop in there. Pretty straightforward. Actually, let's turn that a bit. There we go. Okay, so that's done. Let's go to the engine now and clean all that schmutz off there. Well, actually, I was going to do that and then come back. Let me do that first. Okay, we are ready to go. So let's um, get a little bit of that FPIG on there. FIPG. A little squirt of this.
coat. And this is ready to roll. So much easier than the driver's side. Oh my gosh. Seems like it's set nicely. Okay, so let me get these uh, bolts back into position. Yeah. So I was tightening everything together. Might be better. Positive on the engine block. Don't touch the battery. <laughs> okay, let's get a shorter wrench. One day I'm gonna learn that. When I was, I used to live in South Africa when I was a kid. And my brother and I were finding cigarette butts out in the yard <laughs> and bringing them in the house and tightening. Okay bringing them in the house and trying to light them in an electric heater that we had in the house. And I dropped one of the cigarettes. I don't know how old we were, like eight maybe. And I dropped the cigarette butt in the electric heater and I fished it out with a screwdriver or attempted to fish it out with a screwdriver. I was unsuccessful. However, I did blow all the fuses out in the house and melted the screwdriver. And from what I remember, shot myself across the room. <laughs> that was exciting. Try not to do that. This one. And this last one here. Okay. We are done that. Let me get organized here and then I'll put this all back together. Okay, good to go. So let's get this back together. Pop these in. Clean. Put the clean. Oh, I gotta. I, did, I checked the gapping on the other side. Let me check the gapping on this side too. You don't need to see that. Good. Okay, so we got the spark plugs back in, get the coils on, and these covers are back on. There's a little bracket in the back corner here that we undid. Back down here, that's back on. And then this doodad here is going to be for a bolt down on the front. Get that butt into place. Come on. That's why. Yeah, I'm upside down. It's like 
That does not make sense. Okay, so you want your master flow sensor on the top. <laughs> okay, so that goes in there. This bracket can come in here. Uh, hook this back up to the throttle body. And then we've got a little hose back here. Remember we took it off this little port and then that fits up on there. That guy there. And that goes on the throttle body. And then we've got another one down here. We screw right on the corner. I don't know if you can see that. Right here. Doesn't seem to be. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Don't leave that there. Okay, we're almost done. This is all cleaned up. Should probably replace it, but it's good for now. Anyways, I think I got everything together. I'm gonna put this plastic cover back tomorrow. Um, maybe I'll do it tonight, but I just follow tools right now, so I wasn't thinking ahead on that one. So let me clean all that stuff out of the way, get that back together. But um, I'm thinking these gaskets are going to work really well at sealing this off. They were obviously dried up. And the actual gasket itself, well, the, the, um, this is the one from the driver's side, which is a lot worse shape. Look at that. Horrible. Yeah, it's pretty brittle. Not good. So these obviously needed replacing. They're garbage. And the spark plug um, seals were totally a mess. Like, check that out. That's gross. Not gonna do their job. So they needed to be replaced. Probably why there's a bit of oil in the, in the coils. I think we got everything done. Um, I don't see any bolts left over. That's always a good sign. And let me clear all these tools out of the way, get that cover back on, and then we're done. Thanks for watching. If uh, you have any comments or suggestions, let me know, besides covering up my battery so I don't blow myself up or the truck or wreck anything. Um, I think that's it though. I'm gonna do the valve cover gaskets on the Tundra 2003 V8. I'm gonna get that done Maybe tomorrow afternoon. It's going to be a lot easier than certainly this side was. And there we go. And after that, I think I'm working on... I got videos to do of the camper topper that I just redid. Uh, I narrowed it so it would fit this truck. And then I made a trailer as well. So those videos are coming. And I've also got a second gen 4Runner rock sliders and a rear bumper that I made working on that video. And uh, rock slider is a high clearance bumper for a Lexus GX 470 I just did. Okay, have a great day. Thanks for watching. Cheers.